Hello YouTube, today we are VOD reviewing a player who is top 1 per actually not even top 1%, he's top 0.5% in AM Labs, but for the longest time, this man has been hard stuck gold. So we're gonna look at his gameplay, you know, see what he's doing wrong, kinda try to be educational, laugh at him, stuff like that, you know how this works. Anyway, if you guys want to see this stuff live, come on over to twitch.tv slash eggwick, and if you do enjoy the content, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Okay, so the man we're reviewing, his name name is Sun Tzu. He's a longtime viewer and he wants me to show you guys his grid shot first. He wants me to show off his aim labs. Apparently he got like 140k or something, which is supposed to be really, really high. He's like some grand master rank or something. I don't know anything about aim trainers. I don't use aim trainers. So let's see this first. Okay. This man's on the grid shot grind. What's that crosshair? Is his crosshair? <laughs> That's kind of quick though. Dude, this is way too... I can't... Jesus Christ. Oh my. All right, chat. So you see it? The 140k? Where's the percentage of people? Does anyone know? Well, it says like 99%. So top 1% either way, right? Osu player surely? I don't know if he plays Osu. This man has more hours in aim lab than Valorant. Alright, now that we've got his aim lab out of the way, it's time to watch his Valorant gameplay. So, let's begin the uh, VOD review. Man is playing Sage. Very interesting. Nice skin. Has the prime. We like that. Alright, what does he do? Okay, changes the crosshair first. He's on the SOM crosshair. Does it help him? No idea. Do you guys do that? Use pro player crosshairs? I have never like looked up a pro player's crosshair and copied it. I made a crosshair at the start of the game and stopped up, it. Up, up. Yeah? Okay, well. So remember, what we're looking at here is I guess game sense? Maybe crosshair placement a bit? Because on the raw aim side of things, he should be fine. My shots. Wants to duel against Reyna? Okay. So not much he could really do there, I think. Maybe could have looked up, but the, uh, you know, 50-50 retrospect. Someone could have swung at him. All good so far. Not a bad start. I use a crosser. I have a smile. Dude, the smiley crosser is notorious, man. He forgot to buy armor? Wait! Oh my god. Is this what happens in gold? Is this what happens in low elo? You already have an AFK on round two? Is this why people can't get out? How often do you guys have AFKs? Out of 10 games. How often? That's the question here. I'm guessing it's like one out of 10. 10 out of 10? Get out of here. Crying three? No, no, no. You guys are fucking over-exaggerating. It can't be 10 out of 10, okay? Well, I the AFK. Well, okay, makes sense. Yeah. I bet it's max like four. If you're pushing it, I bet it's like five, you know? We'll see. Okay. Breaks a dart. Hides. Actually, I think he could have hid from the dart with a smoke, but that's fine. Okay, plays a close act. Never mind. Runs away. Very interesting. Man's got a classic. So there's a jet still hasn't come back, by the way. Okay, so they're rotating. Hey, chat, what do you guys think about the prime skin? Oh, wait, has jet reconnected? I like default prime the best. I think blue one. Actually, I think the yellowish, like yellow green one is the worst. Default's the best, though. Okay. Nice heal. Could have died there if someone was holding mid. Could have just smacked him on the head. Oh! Uh, oh! Okay, he went for the uh, right click and didn't get it, but he dinked the champ. Insane! Last player standing. Oh god. You know what I've realized? I played with some like lower elo friends recently, One played unrated and, and stuff, right? What I realized is that when you. Ooh. What I realized is that when you play in lower elo compared to high elo, it's just that you can't rely on your teammates to trade you or to peek off you or to do anything together. That's the uh, difficulty, I guess, of low elo. Not the aim, not anything. Mostly because it feels like every man is taking their own duels and the moment that your team takes a duel on like B, two people die or something and they lose their aim duels, it's like you're on the retake and it's hard, okay? I feel like if you're a high elo player, or if you've played in high elo in the past and you play low elo, I think you just need to like turn off your brain and aim. Play chamber, play jet, get an early frag, get the most impact, get out and just frag out, you know? I was playing omen and I had problems. Like I was flashing for people, no one was peeking off my flash. I was like, I'm smoking this and people push my smoke. I'm giving you a one way and people just, yeah, it's all good. <laughs> I think one. What more can I turn off? I don't have a brain. 
Okay. That's a nice spot though. That's like the head spot, you know, where um they only see your head and you can see them. Wait, I love that he has an Glendy, iron gun, but he chat. Look at this. The man has risen up from the rank. Do you guys see this? It's an iron gun, buddy. Mm -mm -mm. We like the improvement. Peaks med. Masks his footstep. Okay, 1v1. Nice shot. Looking great. Looking good. Get a peek to planter. Great shot. Orange, orange. Orange? Wait, was he actually orange? Oh, he was. Can I do I thought the guy was calling out yellow and he said orange. I was like, what? Anyway, he's actually orange. <laughs> I thought he was saying yellow. I was like, oh. Do you guys not know the callouts? By reviewing old icebox, this is an older VOD. There's a good twist at the end of things. I will let you know what happened at the end, but there's a reason we're reviewing this. It's just mid? Nah, dude. Orange is here. Mid is here, okay? Orange is a legit comm. It's over here, okay? If you guys don't know, you're learning now. Because the container is orange and then green. Yeah. yeah, it literally says it on the map. Can we actually, like, get a show of ads? Who calls it mid and who calls it orange, okay? It's a mid B. I say orange, okay? Look, the Radiant Andy in chat calls it orange too. If you say mid in my lobby, people will get confused. Yeah, I know. Because when I think mid, I don't think the guy has walked up under tube yet. But when you say orange, I know that he's already crossed over. If you called mid and the guy was orange, I think I would have gone as bad. Because oh, I'm expecting him to not minute, have crossed under tube yet, you know? My shots? Man's got crispy aim though. You call it orange the color, I call it orange the fruit. We are not the same. <laughs> Which reminds me, what came first, chap? The fruit or the color? Wait, did the color come first? The fruit? Oh, oh, here we go. Color was named after the fruit? Oh, okay. It can't be both. What do you mean? It's like, oh, my shots. Dude, man's got crispy aim though. Yeah, boy. Wait, did the brim smoke off the bomb for it? <laughs> Wait, I'm so confused. I am so confused. What are these lobbies? Wait, why did the... <laughs> Alright, so you're gonna wall uh, this thing off. Wall up two. Okay. Top two. Top two. Top two. He's yeah. gonna one-tap him. Nice shots. Chat, man's popping. Okay, most of the rest are going A. Probably gonna try to slow. Never mind, the slow isn't coming out. Gets a shot anyway. Nice. Wow! There's a brim mid, no one pays attention. Brim can't aim anyway, so it's all good. Zang? Okay. We are 3-2. Five rounds in, chat. How would you rate the man's performance relative to his aim lab score? He's playing pretty well. He's getting his kills, hitting his shots. 9 out of 10. Okay, good aim. He out-aims everyone in that lobby. He's just locked Reyna or Chamber. I don't know why, but I feel like Reyna is... So the one thing that I don't like about Reyna and why I play characters that can be useful even without getting a kill is that Reyna is very dependent on how well you can aim or how well you can get kills. And sometimes it's just not happening for you, you know? Like Natsu Dragneel here. Without a kill, you're basically useless as Reyna, aside from like your flash, which is like, you have two of those. Back in the day, I always believed that I need to be useful even if I play like dog because some days I play like dog and my duos know that. So when I play Omen, I can just flash. I can smoke. I can can do everything. Yeah? Let's play, let's play. What do I do if I play dog shit every day? Not gonna lie. I feel like playing Chamber and Jet will help you a lot with your aim. Mainly because you can take without sacrificing your game. You can take free duels. Oh my God, nice shot. Free duels and get away. I don't think you should have peeked that opera again. But yeah, you can take one free duel, get away, and then take another duel somewhere. So it's more forgiving. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> My man, not to drag duels, getting clapped. I get a feel bad. I started doing half an hour of aim labs before I hop on on Val and I see huge change. Really? I mean, everyone's different though. Some people need to improve on their aim. Some people need to improve other things like util, positioning, all that stuff. So if your aim was holding you back, then probably, yeah, aim labs would help you. But this guy's aim looks crispy. These are the demons you fight in gold, chat. Okay, he's playing a rat spot this time. Very interesting. Gets cleared by the drone. So he runs back. All right, slows. Using util well. Nice Whoa. shots. Nice shots. Dude, man is like good for it too. Wait, that guy's diamond? Oh, this guy is diamond. Well, it used to be diamond. It's a gold plat lobby. Oh, I see, I see. I feel that one, aim labs now do not have Valve physics, so it's messing up my recall control. I mean, recall control in Valve is just pull down. <laughs> As I'd say that, the Viper just... <laughs> 
Game Labs messed up my counter strafing. Well, that's what I tell people in Apex, right? Just, just pull down, man. R99, just pull down. Any gun, just pull down. Except maybe like flatline. It's like right left now. Because you have the, the horizontal movement to Osu Superior Aim Trainer. Who plays Osu here? Any Osu gamers? And what rank Don't are you guys me. if you play Osu? Me casually? Me. Osu Gamer and Bronze 1? Osu Andy, top 1000? Okay, what rank are you though? <laughs> Nice. Used to be top 100. It's crazy. Top 100k is insane. Okay. Rezzes. Got the res off. Okay. One tap. Dude, Madison. Oh. If he didn't get dinked, I think he had that. I mean, that jet's going crazy. I feel like this jet is gonna die. I just feel it. My bones say, oh, wait. Wait, is that an unupgraded Reaver? Wait, pull out your knife. Please pull it. Oh, wait, it actually looks kind of clean. I was doubting it at first. And wait. I might try that. Wait, an upgraded Reaver looks kind of nice. Osu swears are holy beings. Wait, what? Oh, you mean sweats. Yeah, Osu sweats are crazy. They're actually insane. I don't know how your eyes follow the balls so fast. But yeah, I bet if you play a lot of Osu, you're probably like... Your hand-eye coordination is insane. Oh, okay. That Guilty Crown OP hits. Yeah. Oh my god! Dude, Nazi Dragon was mad, man. Okay. Dude, man's calm, cool, and collected. I feel bad for the Reyna. Yeah, see, this is the thing. And nothing against, like, not to. But if you're Reyna and you're not getting kills, you're not very useful. I play Clash Royale to warm up for Val. Mobile gamers? Oh, no. What are these smokes? I'm actually confused. What the hell are these smokes? What? What the f- That's not his brim smokes, right? Yeah, he doesn't have a brim. Is that a brim throwing? What are those smokes? You guys saw those smokes? It's like the sh** you see in gold. Enemy remaining. <laughs> he was droning me. Okay, we're gonna see the one tap. Never mind, I take it back. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Have you tried Apex Mobile? Nah, I'm not a mobile oh, gamer. Shit, Only mobile game I played was like old school RuneScape. You guys know RuneScape. My childhood. I use League of Legends to train my mental. Makes sense. League is nasty. Not even Subway Surfers? Nah. Not even Candy Crush? Dude, that's what boomers play. Am I a boomer team? Who the hell plays Candy Crush in this day and age? Wait, I, oh. Oh my God, my man broke his legs. Holding an interesting angle. Okay, gonna heal your teammate. Okay. Dude, I swear to God, this brim is throwing or I don't know what's going on. Also, is this Viper Wall any... Chat, what do we think of the Viper Wall? It's mid. Nasty wall. <laughs> I'd say it's decent. I don't know. If you put up the wall, people can just walk up here. Walk up here for free. And by the time the wall goes down, it's like already here. <laughs> Be mini player. Oh my God, see? What did I tell you? <laughs> What did I tell you? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I thought the enemy team put up. No, no, that's his teammate's wall. Just crossing that thing decays you. I know, but I mean, you give a lot of control, med. Levad keeps setting up an example. I know, right? It's crazy. Next thing I know, this guy's going to get a 3k. This, okay, I'm going to predict it. 3k for Mr. Sun Tzu this round. All of my predictions have... Okay, never mind. No, still possible. All my predictions have been right so far. So he's going to get a 3k this round. I got to peek him mid. He's going to one-tap this kid. Never mind, I take it back. Okay, they're going to peek him B main. He's going to one-tap this kid. Okay, never mind. He gets a 3k. Oh, dear. Oh, okay. Okay, never mind. Wait, they didn't plant? Hey, it's my first stream. Welcome, welcome. Ah. No 3k Sag. Hey chat, here's a question. Would you rather get one kill for five rounds or an ace on one round and zero kills okay. for the next four? You still get five kills. Ace, okay. One kill around. Ace, okay, okay. We're looking at this. I like this. I see the people who go for the clips. One kill because it helps Steve. Yeah, yeah. You see, there are like two schools of thought here. It's the guy who always gets his per round and the other guy who gets the clip. <laughs> And, you know, as a content creator, I'm going for the clip, you know? But I think if I was playing seriously, I think I'd go for uh, one kill for five rounds. You know, be consistent. Oh, oh, okay. One taps. Woo! Wait, that's your own Viper's Wall. Why would you... Oh, okay. It's fine. Woo! <laughs> Alright, they throw this. Wait for all this. 30, 30. It's just, uh, yeah, they, oh dear god. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Ace. 
Wait, never mind. They want it. But I was just talking about an ace. Dude, I was just fucking talking about an ace. Okay, whatever. Wow. We killed that fast. Thank you for the three. All right. Ray's going in. Okay. One taps the guy rafters. No, does not. Wait. They won the round. Why didn't he buy? Wait, what? Huh? Why? Hey, yo, why no buy? Why you no buy the gun, man? Okay. Get no, them. they're gonna lose this oh, round. <gasps> nice. Oh. Dude, I swear. If Wait, how many people did oh not buy a gun? <clears throat> Let me check the last round. I need to see how many people didn't buy. You need to buy round two. It's just free. The Jeff bought a vandal? <laughs> I mean, it's fine if you can hit your shots, but I mean, that's risky. Okay, so one guy buys a Vandal, the two don't buy, and the rest buy Spectres. Okay. You need to force buy round two. Oh, well, it's not even force. It's not called a force. You just full buy. You buy to the max of your uh, cash just to secure the round. It's free. And now he loses a Vandal. No. Feels bad. Chamber somewhat understandable. Oh, that's true, actually. Yeah, you can just use your pistol, but I don't know. I'd still go for the Spectre. It's just, you just run and gun. I'm pretty sure they don't hit you. I don't know. I, I feel like Spectre is a safe option, you know? Normally, heavy shields and Spectre. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What was my guy doing? You need to be on site for the wall. My guy, you need to help him out. Okay. Wait. Wait. Oh, no. Would have been fine if he got the kill, but now he's uh, just down someone. Oh! <laughs> Dude, that's a perfect molly. Okay. All right, the jet with the... It's not open. It's not open. Oh... Oh, rip. 11 to 4. Bulldog Ground 2 is my favorite. Me too. Actually, no, it depends. Like, on split, I'd rather go Spectre and just run and gun people. Or even buy a Judge on split, which is fine. Or even, like, Ascent. Sometimes I run Judge and just play B main. Shred people, have someone flash for me. But Bulldog's fine on, like, Breeze and stuff. Or maps with longer sight lines. Okay. Wait, does that Jet have a Judge? That Jet has a Judge. No, that's a Vandal. Wait, I swear someone had a Judge. Wait, huh? What did I see? My eyes deceived me. Okay, wait, what's my man doing? Okay, he sees the trap. Oh no! Oh no! If he gets one tap. Oh my god, thank god. Okay. Viper walls down. I think they win this round. Easy clap. Wait, the spike's not planted! Oh no, he has to win this fight. Oh no. Okay. Wait, not the up? Oh, nice try. I think if he just held yellow there, it would have been better. Just wait for the guy to push out instead of peeking out or wait for your TP to come back up. Did he have TP? Oh, he didn't. Oh, he peeked left. Yeah, just unlucky. Joining you. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, good go. that's crazy. Man has an ins insane amount of faith in his One chamber. Top. Holy crap. Dude, these guys are aggressive. They just love... Them. I don't want to, like, single out someone, but I'm not sure what this Brim is doing. Not gonna lie. Wait, cha oh, why? That chamber's popping. I deleted Valorant to play CSGO and realized I'm better at Valorant than CS. I think Valorant is more noob-friendly. I don't know. CSGO has a lot... Like, the movement in CSGO is just harder to learn than Valorant. I think man should not be taking the first peak here because he has res, and I think he'd give a lot more value to his team if he just has someone peak or be the second one in and then res the guy. But if he's first guy peaking and he dies, it's like, oh, you waste the res. But I don't know. I don't play ranked. <laughs> don't take it from me. I'm just shit my thought okay the wall comes out oh get a wall is viper in okay this is the round they win it's over they've got post plans they have time they have rest this is over if they throw this this is gonna be a colossal throw I mean, you just have to hide and not peek yep yeah i think they've won this all right chat what do we think of mr sun Tzu's performance aim labs and the top 0.5 percent on aim labs what are our thoughts how's this gameplay oh my god wait hey there's no time Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Top one percent aim lab. I showed it earlier on in the vid that he was top one percent. So now for the twist and why we're watching an older vid. The reason why we're watching an old vid is because while this man was hard stuck gold for the longest time, man's actually improved all the way from iron to diamond already. So we like improving. Good for Mr. Sun Tzu.